Former professional golfer known to Begay III is back in New Mexico giving back to his home state, and he brought some of his celebrity friends with him. KOET Action 7 Sports Director Orlando Sanchez is live from the Santa Ana Pueblo with more. Orlando? Good evening, Ana. We'll take a look at the scenery behind me at the Santa Ana Golf Club. Perfect way to set the tone for the first ever Rio Grande Charity Slam. Nota Begay III and his NB3 Foundation, along with the Jewish Community Center from Albuquerque, helped put it all together to benefit kids from the area. It's been a busy couple of days for Albuquerque Academy graduate Nota Begay III. Thursday, he hosted a free kids' golf clinic. Hundreds gathered around to learn the tricks of the trade. Just want to be able to give back to, to all the kids here in the city, and the best way I know how to do that is through community service and golf. And he wasn't alone on day two, bringing in some serious PGA credibility to participate. Nice to have the money doing some good and creating leadership and education, and uh, I'm really happy to be here. While Noda went to Stanford, members of the Lobo family showed up in support of the Real Grand Charity Slam. He's been a good friend, uh, but what he does for the state of New Mexico is amazing. Uh, I know he's not a Lobo, but when Stanford's not playing, he does cheer for the Lobos. This time, everyone is on the same team, raising money and awareness for type 2 diabetes and childhood obesity. I had no idea how relevant it was in the Native American community. Uh, you know, these kids are getting. Diabetes at age four and five, type two diabetes, so it's um, pretty prevalent there. It's a big deal, you know. I know, I know people think you've got to be older to get it, but it's, it's happening to a lot of younger kids right now in the Native American communities. While NOTA has put together golf tournaments like this in the past in other places outside of the state, the Rio Grande Charity Slam is something that will be around for years to come, and plans for an event in 2015 are already in the works. Now, today's event is just wrapping up. The goal is to raise about $200,000. As far as Noda goes, he had a heart attack about two months ago. And as you can see, he's already back out here. He says he's feeling good, and he's back to work as a TV analyst. Well, reporting live from the Santa Ana Pueblo, Orlando Sanchez, KOAT Action, 7 Sports.